This is probably the best manual lever espresso machine that you've never heard of. This is the Unitera Nomad. It is a portable manual lever machine that utilizes a seesaw micro lever structure to build pressure. And you basically just pour in your hot water through a reservoir at the back, pop in a coffee tray that has a portafilter inside, and you then begin seesawing to build pressure. I'll be going over what the machine is, the company behind it, and well, why have you never really heard of them? I'll then be talking about three reasons why I like the Nomad so much. Then I'll go into my usage experience of the Nomad and of course, what is it actually like day to day? What are, what's good about it and maybe what's not so good about it. Here is the Nomad. I have it in white. As you can see here, there is a seesaw lever mechanism. You basically will pump this back and forth to build pressure and you can check your pressure through a fun little gauge here where there is a green zone called the crema zone. So make sure your shots are always in the crema zone for maximum coffee enjoyment. On the side of the machine, there is a little cap and this is how you pour in water into the reservoir here. You can actually fit in about 250 to 300 grams of hot water. So we'll, we'll kind of touch upon that point later on. And how you actually load coffee in is there is a locking mechanism on the top here that you lift up in order to swap trays in. And the tray is built of three different pieces. So you have a standard uh, actual tray here. Then there is a little portafilter holder which holds a basket. Uh, this basket here is about a 14 gram basket. It is a 49 millimeter basket here. And you can also use something called the true crema valve on here, which basically will act like a pressurized portafilter to basically ensure that you can always build pressure. So if you don't have a super fancy grinder, you can still effectively pull some pretty good shots. You also get a 49 millimeter tamper with the unit. You will prep your puck and then you just slide the uh, basket or tray into the system, lock in and begin seesawing away. This unit was sent to me by Unitera. So Unitera is a really small company. There are two people that run the company. There's a guy named Kurt who's in California, as well as a guy named Vincent who's in Taiwan. They came from a medical device background and they ended up making the Nomads. If you're in the USA, you probably haven't really heard of the machines since about 2016, 2017. They kind of are a cult machine in Asia. You'll find their machines actually used in certain cafes in Japan, and there is definitely a huge following there. The last time I actually heard about the Nomad was before I got into the hobby of espresso, and uh, actually Steve Reinhardt is the last guy that I personally know who used a Nomad. The other thing too is actress Terry Hatcher, who played Lois Lane, uses the Nomad in one of her cooking shows. She really likes the Nomad. But aside from that, it's been in different places, but really in the hobbyist community, I haven't really heard of the machine being used much after that 2016-2017 uh, time period. And I think this is such an underrated machine. The quality of coffee coming from this thing is actually really good. And there are a lot of quality of life improvements with the Nomad compared to some of the other manual lever espresso machines that exist out there, mainly from the ability to have a larger reservoir so being able to pull back-to-back -back shots and actually doing back-to-back -back shots with the machine because you can just pop in another coffee tray. Now I'm revisiting the Nomad in 2021 and I just feel like this is such an amazing machine for, for what it does. So the one thing to note about the Nomad is kind of how the reservoir design is done. So when you pour in hot water in here, there really isn't any metal or any place for heat to escape. Honestly, you don't actually have to preheat. Uh, the system, although that depends on what coffee you're running. So if you're running something like a lighter roast, I would recommend you actually preheat. So the coffee we'll use today is uh, GMC by Cafe Lusso. The basket in here is 14 grams. We're gonna dose 14 grams in. We're gonna try to pull 28 out. So we're just gonna do a standard one to two. So everything in here is already going to be piping hot. And all we have to do is prep a puck. And by the time we pull a shot here, that boiling water should actually decrease in temperature. It should be about 88 to 90 degrees Celsius, which will make it perfect for our espresso. I'm just going to put in some coffee here, WDT. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick slam. All right, I'll just stick the white part into the coffee tray. I'll then 
slide the tray in, lock in. Just gonna begin pre-infusing. So I'm pumping here and I'm introducing water to the puck. Our pressure is now increasing to two, three bars pre-infusion now. And I'm gonna pre-infuse for a few more seconds. And then I'm going to start introducing pressure and keep it in this green crema zone. Okay, so we've pre-infused for a few seconds. And now I'm just going to gradually pump and modulate in that eight, nine uh, bar range while the shot is going. And there is a fair amount of crema, which I'll show you after we've pulled the shot. And I'm keeping it in, just modulating the pressure. And now I'm going to go and into a pressure decline. So now I'm pumping a little bit slower as the puck is degrading. And now I'm getting into that decline stage. The pressure is dropping. I'm going to swap cups. This shot was 25, 25.6 grams. So as you can see there, there is a fair amount of crema looking good. This was a tighter ratio. And I am now going to try this. It's looking really good and the drink is nice and warm. Now let's taste the shot. Really nice sweetness in that shot, getting that nice body because I ramped up to about eight, nine bars and I had that decline. So I did a standard lever profile and getting nice clarity, actually that massive chocolate and nut note that you find in the uh, in GMC by Cafe Lusso. So that was really good. The Nomad makes really good espresso. Everything's still really hot. If I take off this reservoir, you already see there's steam and everything forming on here. The inside is still really hot. So I've pulled a shot and I also have a cup here because it's like a lever style machine. And basically what you do is you will lift this up. So you'll unlock the uh, coffee tray here. We'll pull this guy out. And there is a little bit of excess water on the top of my puck because I added in a lot of hot water. Next time I just need to add less water. And then what I'll do is I will then uh, take the tray here and I'll just slam the puck out. So this will kind of pop into three things. I really would recommend you do this kind of by a sink. So there's the initial coffee tray, which has a bit of liquid in here, then the white part where the basket sits, then the actual basket here. So uh, if I didn't add so much water, I would just keep pumping and everything would be dry. But because I added in a lot of hot water in this example, uh, the system was really wet but everything pops kind of back together and I'm just gonna rinse this out later. So now let's go into reasons why I like the Nomad over other manual machines out there. My first reason why I really like the Nomad is the large reservoir. And that relates to my second reason, but the first reason is that you can just put in 250 grams, 300 grams of hot water. You then can pull a back-to-back -back shot and you're good to go. The other thing to note too is the access of water in here is that all you have to do is just pop the lid off and pour in more hot water and you can always keep the system nice and hot. The second reason which relates to the reservoir is that this reservoir is encased. It's enclosed within the unit so there's no metal or anything that basically acts like a heat sink and you lose water temperature. That really makes sure that your temperature stability is always pretty good. So if you start with boiling water by the time it reaches the coffee tray you're gonna get something that is in that 90 degrees celsius range from my own testing too and just pulling shots i'm always getting something that is well extracted because of the temperature the nomad has never let me down when it comes to heat the other thing too is the ability to pull multiple shots so i have two coffee trays here which are the basket and everything i can pull one shot pop it out and because I have a large reservoir and good temperature stability, I can just pop in another tray. So those are my three reasons. My first one is large reservoir. Second reason, good temperature stability. And then three, the ability to pull multiple shots or do two shots of espresso out of a single session using the Nomad. So now kind of let's go into some not so good things about the Nomad. The thing is, is cleanup on this machine is, is a little bit of a hassle if you don't, aren't nearby a sink. So I am filming out here in, in a dining room. Basically, there are three pieces here and they are going to be a little bit wet here. So there is the actual coffee tray, which you're going to need to rinse out. Then 
the white piece here, which you're going to need to rinse out. Then you're going to need to also rinse out the basket and there is a screen underneath the basket here. Also to note is inside here, there is a shower screen that you're also going to need to make sure are, are clean. But for me, uh, it, how I've done it is I've just pull all my coffee, take all everything apart and I rinse everything out. So it's not too bad. You're just going to need to make sure that things are clean. The other thing that you may have noticed is that I didn't have my scale on the Nomad while I was weighing my shot. So most cups will actually not really fit under here. There really is only so much space here. So the way to get around that is you just use a tray of some sort, use a book. And what you can do is you can prop the actual uh, unit up and then you should be able to fit a scale with something like a shorter cup. Uh, this fellow Monty here fits when I have this little stand here. So if you just keep a book or a little bit, a little stand, then you can start weighing your shots. So that's kind of my little workaround with weighing sh uh, shots here. Those are kind of my two biggest uh, pain points that I would say that the Nomad has is clean up and then also not having the ability to fit a scale. Now let's also talk about the actual coffee coming out of the Nomad as well. I think I should elaborate a little bit more on that. Again, this is a lever machine. You can really play around with your pre-infusion, your lever profiles. As long as you just keep in mind your pressure gauge here, you really can start modulating your uh, pumping with the seesaw lever and you can pull some amazing shots here because your temperature is always going to be relatively stable because of the enclosed reservoir. So that makes sure that your shot will be pretty good. What you will need to keep in mind is exceeding that nine bars here. So there isn't an OPV, this is like a lever machine. So just modulate your pumping. And basically you can execute all of the really nice lever style profiles. You can do blooming stuff, you can do londinium style shots, you can kind of do it all as long as you play around with how fast and slow you, you pump. I actually have been really liking to pull long with this because it has a larger reservoir. Now, uh, if you may have seen something like the drink that I did in the X-Bar video, which was a Rayo Allonger, I can pull long with this because I can put in 14 grams and I can pull a uh, one to five and I can get 70 grams out. Or I can even pull longer. I can go into the Sprover territory, get a one to 11, one to 12 and be fine because the temperature in the reservoir is always going to keep up and I'm not having to deal with any sort of crazy temperature loss throughout the system. So overall, the quality of coffee coming in the Nomad is absolutely amazing. The Because you don't have to deal with the temperature loss that you may find in other manual systems, this really makes sure that you can get more repeatable results in your espresso making and also make sure that you're, most of the time your coffee is going to be well extracted. But I don't have to move so, so fast like I do with some of the other manual machines out there. The other thing to note is, well, I pull a shot, I can just pop in another tray. I can have two pucks prepped and that just basically hot swap and I can pull two shots. And because the system and reservoir are all nicely insulated, there's good temperature stability there. That makes sure that I can pull one shot, pop a tray out, pop in another tray, pull another shot, and then I can take my two trays and then rinse it all out. So that's kind of what I've been doing. It makes sure that your workflow isn't too, too crazy here. So uh, there isn't disassembling an entire machine just to pour in the hot water here. You just pop off the reservoir, pour in your hot water there, and there isn't this moving so, so fast because your temperature is just instantly dropping because there are there's like a metal reservoir and you're getting screwed by temperature loss. So overall, I just am a huge fan of the Nomad. I, I see the why it's a cult machine now because the quality of coffee is absolutely amazing and the temperature stability is also really good. I also do want to note this is that it is also very fun to use. Uh, I just, I, it's kind of like playing a game here where you just pump the levers on the seesaw here and it just makes pulling espresso really enjoyable. And you also never run out of lever space because you can just keep on pumping so you're, you can do those large yield shots. I just really enjoyed my time using the Nomad these past few weeks and I want to thank Kurt from Uniterra for sending me this unit. I really hope a lot of you guys will check out the machine pick one up for yourselves because the quality of coffee is absolutely amazing. So that's the Uniterra Nomad. Those are my reasons why I like the Nomad so much. 
and overall it's just a good machine i really enjoyed my time using it so thank you again for spending the time to watch the video let me know if you have any questions and please feel free to subscribe follow me on instagram all of that good stuff and thank you again